Welcome to Bear Cravings, another awesome show with my amazing friends who have come all the way here from Perth, Carly and Georgie. How are you guys? Great, great, thanks. Awesome. <laughs> These are also fellow crew members for Sea Shepherd and welcome to another great show. <laughs> Click subscribe up down the button below and if you've got any ideas you want us to do then go ahead and email us on, on beercravings.com. So Kylie, yeah. are you ready? Yeah. Are you going to show us what you're going to do? Yep. What do you want to know? What, where did this come from? I, I got it for you. That's hookers. Oh, is that? <laughs> I don't drink hers. I'll get my hand cut off if I drink hers. Right, go ahead. Tell us. Alright, what do you want? Well, okay. tell us, go through here, tell us what you've got. Well, I'm making a mushroom stroganoff. Right. The reason I'm making a mushroom stroganoff is because I used to make a beef stroganoff. Right. Back in the day. Yes. And I was known for it. People would come for miles for my beef stroganoff. Yeah, right. Um, and so I realised, you know, when I stopped eating meat that I wanted to figure out a way to make the same meals and still get people interested. So you're veganising? Yeah, veg I had to veganise yeah. it. And um, I didn't realise how easy it was actually. So, this is what I've done. So it's now mushroom stroganoff. You can make a mushroom and potato stroganoff, which is uh, just as easy. And you just swap a few things over. And this is what I've done. So can we go through the ingredients sure. here? You've got mushrooms, you've got onions. This one? That's uh, ginger. Ginger, awesome. And garlic. garlic. I Lots of garlic. Lots of garlic here. I love it. Yeah. Okay, what's this here? All right, so I've made a little stock here just with water and um, I've put some beef beef uh, stock Mis cubes. Mis so this is what you can get your local supermarket. Marcel mm -hmm. is an amazing brand. Is Beef, chicken or vegetable is all vegan. I've got a lot of people that still eat meat in my life and I want to mm -hmm. make them realise it's the same sort of flavours but it's actually just not the product. Yeah. So explain to me what this is Well, here. this is just, that's just corn flour and water. And, it's and what is this actually? It's a thickening, thickening agent. Right, okay. At the end, yep. you'll see that it needs to thicken. Yep. So we've got some coconut cream. Mm -hmm. All-purpose seasoning, yeah. This isn't in the recipe. I just add things as I go because yeah. based on flavour and taste. <laughs> and so I raided your mum's cupboard and that's what I found. <laughs> Thanks, mum. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got some tomato paste, some whole grain mustard, my favourite ever tofu de cream cheese. Anyway. Okay, we've got hot paprika, chilli, of course. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Um, and just this is garnish. Garnish. And um, tell me this. This is just tomato paste with a bit of. Uh, what did I use? A bit of water <laughs> and I think a bit more stock. Did you have a brain fart? No, I put a bit of that into that. Right. That's just a little saucy. Thing that's okay. going to taste really good. And obviously, of course, I want to show people how good wine, onion, and garlic and ginger taste. Oh, totally. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's like it's an inevitable thing that's wicked. Mmm. Yeah, you don't have to. Tasty, Kylie. Work without every ingredient other than the wine. I wouldn't know. Right, no, I'll oh, I'll let it go. go. It's very similar. Yeah, all right. It's very similar. Yeah, yeah very similar. I like the wine because it. Well, I don't know. Like drink I the just, wine. Well, I just. I like wine in most. You drinks. don't need an excuse to like now. <laughs> now the thing is, we want to turn this up. Yeah. Right? We want to. Is it called? Yeah, because you want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to cook it. Yeah. Similar the hell out of that. Uh, uh, yeah. But we want to be careful because we don't want it to be too whiny. <laughs> and then a bit like, like, like Nick. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what we want He's to do. He's a bit whiny. A bit more flavour, yeah, a bit more wine. And then we're just going to let those flavours all come together. I'm going to add the, the last bit of ginger in. Actually, I don't know if I should. Yeah, yeah do so it. Yeah, I just do this with gut. I don't know. Why would you waste that amount of ginger? Alright, I'll put it in. Just throw it in. Yeah, whack it in. 
If it doesn't taste good, I'm always looking for an excuse for, as to why it didn't taste good, and that was the moment. Don't, don't doubt yourself. No, no, I wasn't. Just do I was it. getting myself just out of it. And if you put enough wine, we'll never know. Oh, yeah. Alright, so we really need that to just reduce. Yeah, we need that to just really. Okay, so let's go. So this is just tomato paste, water with a bit of that stock. I'm going to add this in. And again, we've got to reduce this. Let me touch that. Mm. Alright. So the idea is to get the sauce right because the mushrooms go right at the end. Because you don't want to overcook them. So, keep tasting. Now I'm going to add the what other people would say is cream. I'm adding the coconut cream. It's important not to over flavour it with the coconut flavour. This is very strong. See how that changes? Mm -hmm. This is where I add more garlic now. You can never have too much garlic. You made put this for us in the Faroe Islands, didn't you? I did. While we were on campaign for the pilot whales. I did. And it was a treat, wasn't it? It was a treat. <laughs> God knows you need a treat out there. Mm -hmm. So again, I'm going to add a bit more. There's, there needs to be constantly a consistency, a consistency of stock with the different flavors. So people that are trying to transition, especially, are still getting the taste that they're used to, and that's what I like to. I like. I bet you had no idea. No. <laughs> Had the idea. No, stop it. <laughs> well, you started. You be like mole now. You said you were going to, so I'm just trying to get in. Just get back to what you're doing. Alright, so I'm going to put the, the mushrooms in because it's a mushroom stroganoff, and now's the time. Here's our dish. <gasps> now, honestly, can you Yummy. imagine meat would ruin that? Absolutely. Can you believe that people now, now think that the right thing to do is to add meat to that? Beautiful sauce. Yum. This yeah. is beautiful. So I'm going to cut it. Now's your time. Alrighty. So here we go, the thicken up. The corn flour. The corn flour and water. <laughs> we'll just do a little bit and we'll see how that thickens. See that's starting to thicken. Just a little bit. No, don't forget the paprika, don't worry about it. Seasoning? Yeah, and the salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. No, salt and pepper. That is very salty. Yeah, I know, but you just. Just a little bit. It's important not to stir this. Don't stir this when you do this. Just let it go. But I won't put too much in. On there. Let's see how that goes. Okay, Carly, so you can tell us here what you got this pasta, this awesome pasta. Yes, this is the mushroom stroganoff that yeah. I've been talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I know, we're like dying to eat this. Yes. So what do we got here? We got some cheese. Yeah, some cheese, some parsley, some mustard, and some what? <laughs> nooch. Nooch. It's nooch, man. It's the gold of vegan world. I can't wait to taste the nooch. <laughs> <laughs> Savory yeast flakes. It's the best. Serve it up. Serve it I'm up. serving, I'm serving. Oh. Yum. Okay. Excited. Who's first? Katie. Look, mum, she's all over it. Go, Katie. <laughs> 